7 speed tips to 7x your workflow in Figma part 2 Let's talk about tip number one. So whenever you're trying to put a new element into the auto layout, and if you copy it and paste it in the auto layout, it will come in the end, right? That's the problem. I want to put it after this. So I have two options. One, I can directly take it over here and place it. This blue thing denotes where this new item will be placed. So that is one. Another way is in complex layout, this one helps more. So I can cut this. I can go to the element after which I want to place this new thing and I can paste it. And that's the way you can precisely put your thing into the auto layout and wherever you want to place it. So I hope this helps. Let's move on to tip number two. In this tip, I want to tell you about how to replace the elements without a lot of hassle and deleting and things like that. So what I'll do is I, as I can see here, this button is not quite going with the overall thing and I might want a button like this. So what I can do is I'll just go here, copy this, select this thing, which I want to replace. Then I'll press command shift art and once you do that the previous element will be deleted and this one will be added so it's basically replacing the things but you can also do one more thing so let's say i want to select this and replace with this with a smaller button throughout this so what i'll do is i'll press command slash i'll say select all with same properties so it has selected all the one with the same property and i'll say command shift r and as you can see all of them got replaced by this smaller button so this can be super helpful i hope this helps you let's move on to tip number three so in tip number three i want to tell you about this auto layout that i have over here and some of the things are to hug which means that they are hugging the content others are fill which means that the they're taking the entire space of the auto layout so if you want to make this a fill container instead of hug what you can do is you can press option or alt on your windows and then just double click and it will just become fill as you can see similarly if you have something already in fill and you want to convert it into hug what you do is just go and double click on the side of it and this will be converted to hug so this is a very quick hack instead of selecting things from here going here and saying hug and selecting things here and going and saying fill you can just do that by option and double click so let's talk about the fourth tip on the list let's say we have this auto layout and i want uh, to increase the padding here as you can see but i want to keep it in multiples of the nudge value that i have right so i'll just press shift so you see it is increasing since my nudge value is eight i'm just dragging it and it is increasing in multiples of eight so similarly you can do this for inside spacing as well if i hold shift key while i drag this it will increase in multiples of eight right and that will make it super easy for you so and if you want to change the nudge i have told this in another video as well you can quickly go to preferences and change the nudge amount from here small nudge will define how many pixels the thing will move when you press one of the arrow keys and the big nudge will define when you press shift and the arrow key how many pixels the thing will move Let's Let's talk about tip number five so here if you see um the spacing mode is packed right so spacing mode you go here and you see packed so what this means is the spacing between these is fixed which is controlled by here which is 16 but if you make it instead of packed space between then it will just take as much space and it will make this auto but for every single thing if, if you go inside this and make the changes it's just too much hassle so here's one thing that you can do you can select the auto layout select the alignment box by clicking here and press x it will change between packed and auto spacing mode just like that so let's talk about tip number six in this tip i will tell you about one very special feature that figma has which is if you have something made in figma and you can easily take it to a fig jam file and paste it and all the elements will remain the same and similarly if you make something over here we can copy it and take it inside Figma as well. So these two tools talk to each other very well. And you can use this to your advantage. So if you have some brainstorming notes that you want to bring to Figma or you have some mockups that you have prepared and you want to take it to a decision making file in FigJam, you can do that super easy. So tip number seven is while we communicate with the developers or leave notes or reply to comments, you can leave a comment like this is too small and this works really well but 
what if i want to give a feedback on this and i have to say that this card we don't need so simply commenting on this text or any of these might not be helpful right uh, unless you make it very specific in the comment so here's a feature that you can use you can drag the thing in just the comment mode itself and say this card might not B and and this creates a comment on the entire thing as you can see it highlights the thing and then shows you the comment i hope this helps now let me tell you about the two bonus tips that i told you in the beginning of the video so let's talk about the first one on the list we all that you can make a color a style from here by saying this is purple and you can create a style for it and if you create anything new after that you can just go over here and select the color and it will take the properties and you can do the same for text as well that is something we all know we can do but here's one thing you might not know so i have selected the image i'll go over here and create a style pattern and i can now go anywhere just like color or text style and just put this pattern inside that how cool is that you can make all your avatars the logos and every image that you are using again and again and just create a style so you select anything now and you can change it with the patterns so for the bonus tip number two i want to tell you something that i have been using for years but when i showed it to a few of the students they were shocked so i think most people don't know about this one so let me tell you about this one so if i select all this i'm just adding a color you don't have to do that all of these have been been colored right now i'll show you a very cool shortcut so if you want to change the opacity of this you can go over here and change the opacity right that's the way but here's a cool thing you select this thing and you press the button one the numeric one if you press it it will automatically make it 10 percent similarly 20 30 I'm just pressing one, two, three, four. That's why I made that up. One, two, three, four, get on the artboard. But since Sketch had artboards, Figma has frames, so I had to cut it. Sorry for the lame joke though. <laughs> so this is 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and the zero, and the zero represents 100% opacity. So if you press it, you'll see it's set to 100%. If you're interested in learning more speed tips about Figma, do check out the first part of this video. This is all for this video. I'll see you in the first part or if you want to watch the auto layouts video, which is pinned in the comments in that one. Till then, happy designing.